Last night, we experienced another shooting, this time at a campus party where 11 people were sent to the hospital for treatment. Fortunately, there was no loss of life, but this incident, which happened before midnight, is yet another example of the growing and expanding violence our city is facing on a regular basis. I personally believe it's long past time there was an acknowledgement from the mayor and the administration we have a real public safety crisis and I understand there's work being done to increase retention and recruitment of officers, but that can't be the only avenue we pursue. Time and again, we've seen that throwing money at a problem is no way to solve the issue. It requires collaboration and implementation of long-term planning. What we're currently seeing, that the policy we have in place is just not working with the resources we currently have, and that means we need to adapt. And I know I've brought up the versatility of the GVI program, how it can be adjusted based off our current resources to better address these issues. But even if there's a disagreement about what the best path forward should be, there needs to be a discussion about change. So hopefully we can agree at least that something new needs to be done at a policy level if we're going to prevent more of this violence and bloodshed in our city. Thank you. No. Council, do you mind if I answer to this? Councilmember Kleber. Have you spoken with Chief Weathers directly about this incident? Have I spoken directly with Chief that Weathers you referenced about this from last night? Evening? I have not. Okay. First of all, I would ask, out of respect, that you talk to our chief. I have talked with him, and I know exactly what they know about what happened. There is no way that our police could have prevented what happened. So I would encourage you to speak with him. Secondly, I want to speak to GVI because you bring this up over and over. I have several members of my team who have spent hours calling cities in seven other states that use GVI. Many of them have stopped using it because they saw no result. We have, we have investigated this thoroughly because we wanted to be sure that it was something that we wanted to use or didn't want to use. So I go by facts. We talked with those people. We have the data from those conversations. GVI is not working. None of these cities have data to support that it works, and many of them no longer use it. So I would encourage you to do the same, to talk with these cities that are GVI cities and learn what we now know about GVI, which is that it is not effective in lowering homicides. Just to be clear, I have also spoken, and if you're going to pick a hill to die on, perhaps try one that is not peer-reviewed. There is plenty of evidence that shows the facts of the matter. I understand that you have a personal anecdotal experience, but that's not how science works. Well, these aren't anecdotes. These are data that are kept by the national crime people. They keep this data. You can go on yourself and see the data of murders for cities and then compare it with whether they use GVI. I highly encourage you to have conversations with our police face to face and find out the facts of these shootings. There is, I will say it again, there is no way our police could have prevented what happened last night. So uh, you just have to, you have to talk to the chief have more than one conversation with him and learn what's really going on here. Well, just to be clear again, the point is not all of these things can be solved by the police. It's a policy issue. It's how we address these issues systemically throughout our community. And your unwillingness to view this as anything other than a reactionary police measure is frustrating to the people who are experiencing this every day. I was there last week talking with the community at Fred Brown's um, Council Community Violence 
meeting and you were not there. With my one Lexington director, and you Divine were Karan. not there. The, the point being, people are looking for something to address this systemically. And just saying the police cannot stop this is not meaningful. It was great you were there. I'm appreciative that you heard the programs we have going on through the mayor's office with the police and other public safety.